Tommy. Just, sorry. Just, uh, I was just wondering if you saw that uh, Motley Crue documentary on VH1 last night. No, oh, no, I didn't catch that, so no. I'll find them a bit shit. Oh, well, they can make a hell of a racket, that's for sure. And yeah. get the old lug holes ringing. <laughs> yeah, well, so can tinnitus. Hello. Hi. All right. I just, uh, was to... Yeah. Motley Crue. I think I am 14. Oh! Noise related. Um, I'm having a problem with the residence committee. Something about noise, sounds, your place, Wednesday night, a bit loud. Really? Yeah. I, if it were up to me, God, I'd just say, whack it up! You want me to turn it up? No, 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 it's not going to work, no. Right. Um, I just wondered if you and I couldn't put our heads together right now. Brainstorm a solution? Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah no, let's do it. Um, oh. Wednesday would have been listening to some CDs. Uh, probably, yeah, Seconds Out by Pink Floyd. <laughs> uh, Cracking album. Yeah. Can't beat the Floyd. Yes. Oh, hang on. No, it's, Gen it's Genesis. Of <laughs> yeah. Genesis, of course, yeah. Uh, Great band. Yeah, no, listen to Seconds Out. Hang on, was it... Was it... Is it Genesis or Floyd? Which is it? Ah. Uh. <clears throat> it's Genesis. Genesis. Yeah, there it is. We got there. Yeah. No, the thing about uh, listening to um, Genesis is that you need to play it loudly. Uh, the window could have been open, sound could have escaped into the surrounding environment. If I were to close oh, the window, window. coupled with the corresponding reduction in volume, ah, then yep. I think that, that's, that, that, well, that, that, that can that's work. it, isn't it? Well, that close the window, turn yeah. the volume down. That's the solution. Done. There it is. Great work. <laughs> you and I should work for the UN. We should. We soon sort out all the, uh, the mess and the uh, wars. Vice Squad. Come in. Where are the drugs? Uh, can I have some, please? Hey, thanks for helping with the sound check. Excuse me, where's Brian May? But, but are you the band? Yeah. You didn't think the wigs were real, did you, Tommy? <laughs> No. Let's get loaded. There's some beers in the fridge. Help yourself, Tommy. Yeah, who wants one? One at a time for maniacs. No, I'm all right. I've got a smoothie, thanks. I've got the bike, so no thanks. Raymond, do you want to... No, I'm all right, thanks. Can I have a tangerine? Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we have a tangerine. I'm saying it. Take off yours now, Tommy. <laughs> no, this is real. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so you, you were saying you've worked with some big bands before, that? Yeah, all the bands, you know, uh, you name them. Led Zepp? Fuck Led Zepp. Why is it all Led Zepp? Uh, hey, what are you doing that for? Look at me with my lap on that, like a big secretary. You're right, mate. Yeah, just. Let's wreck the joint. I think, um, I think we should probably go now, Tommy. All right, cool it, bro. Size, new kid on the block, you know, it doesn't not a bit freaked out by all the backstage craziness and uh, all the fruit on the floor so far. Oh, I've done it again. Uh, I think maybe we should make a move. No, no, I'm not going. They're coming with it. They're coming. They're not a real band. That is real hair. And the Tangerine Dream, they are a real band with real hair from a long time ago. Thank you. It's this way.
Tommy. Stay back. I'll handle this. You, you've not been dating my ex-wife, have you? <laughs> I didn't, obviously. Still here. Crap job. Bad investments. Wife left me. Cumulative. Yeah. And then, just yesterday, I found out my conservatory has to be dismantled. Who said that? English heritage. Bastards. They said it's architecturally unsympathetic to the surrounding area. No, oh, they're bastards, just bastards. Have you seen the film, It's a Wonderful Life? I've seen a man jump in front of a train. I reckon if 75% of the people who are thinking of shuffling off this mortal coil, if, if they saw that film, they would change their mind. 25%. I think it was shit and you know, set the sat nav for uh, Clifton Suspension Bridge. But, um, I'm uh, Tommy, by the way. Martin. Yeah, there we go. Do, do, you, uh, do you have a job or.? Yeah, I'm a food artist. <laughs> you know those pictures on food packaging that look completely different from the food inside? Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you, you, you fooled me. Well, I, I, the other week, I, I think I bought a, a steak and kidney pie. Lovely golden brown on the picture. I took it out. It was battleship grey. <laughs> I don't know, how do you make it look so you good? Paint on? it. Do you, eh? What? We what? paint it. You, you paint the food? Yeah. Well, you provided a, a, a valuable service. You know, you, you, painting grey food brown. You're painting grey food. Brown, God, that is depressing. Hey, hey, hey. Are you religious at all? Not in any sense most people would recognise. How do you mean? I don't lack an awareness of spirituality, but I am aware of the utter lack of the spiritual in this realm. My mother said that. Oh, you've got to love your old mum, eh? <laughs> the things they come out with. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a believer myself, but uh, I do love the way uh, Christians say that they can see God in a dewdrop, or the uh, laughter lines in the smile on an old lady's face, or the dimples in the backside of a 16 stone German dominatrix. The last one's mine, and Christians don't say that. Tommy, I got him, but I, I, I think he's still alive. Don't let it suffer. Right, I'll pop it in the carrier bag. Oh, God, no, please! Malcolm! It's Martin. Yeah, Martin. Oh, bloody hell. I thought you'd... Suicide. I thought you'd uh, suicided yourself. Hey, Tommy. What? Haven't seen you cruising for a couple of days. Should playing up, then. Pardon? I was just... I haven't seen you uh, rolling for a day or two. Old lady not playing the game. Pardon? I haven't seen you driving your yellow car for a couple of days. Is it not working properly? Oh, my boss 351 Mustang. That's fine. Oh, good, good, great. I do love it. It's a, it's a great ballsy bloody machine, isn't it? Yeah. How's your uh, graphite grey Audi A6? Oh, yeah. Yes. Spends most of his time in the airport long stay these days. Oh. I don't get much of a chance to spank her, oh. but yeah. All right, Tommy. Good to catch up. Glad all is good in the wheels department. Yeah. Oh! I remember a couple of the guys on the. Uh, committee been having a whinge about your wheels being on the curb blah 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 apparently it narrows the pavement by a couple of mil oh this is i told him straight up all right just i'll have a word with him let him know all right back off so 
Yeah, I've been meaning to shift it, but I've had a bit of a day of it. Stopped a guy from killing himself. Oh, yeah, really? Wow, heavy. Anyway, um, most people aren't going to be home for another hour or so yet, so uh, a little bit of time to kill. Yeah, they complained about any other cars with the wheels slightly on the kerb. I don't think it's because it's big and yellow. Isn't it? They probably notice it a bit more. Do they? Probably. Yeah. I told them, I said, it is a classic, but they were all, no, oh, it's just too wide. Well, I've got a wide woman, I need a wide yeah. car. <laughs> she is, uh, makes sense. If we move it now, I think we could probably avoid all that, not giving it... Yeah, well, as I say, I'm going to nip in the house, kick back for a while after my taxing day spent preventing a man from killing himself. And then I'll shift it. Sound like a plan? It's, oh, hell yes. <sighs> and they really do not make them like that any more. That is why I always take anything uttered by a man in a suit or with a soup song of sodium chloride. I beg your pardon? That's not a very nice thing to say. You don't even know his mother. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. Well, thank you, Tommy, and uh, thank you, Jeff, for allowing Tommy to express his opinion, uh, however forthright that might be. Um, and I do hope, Tommy, that you will extend to Jeff the same courtesy and uh, give him the rabbit rabbit. Yeah, shoot from the reach, dude. There's uh, nothing you can call me that I haven't heard a thousand times before. The bearded monster, Tommy the Tank, the mental mammoth, and Mr Saxondale, and uh, the wild man of Stevenage. Oh! I think you consistently disrupt the flow of each class because you pathologically feel the need to dominate every single conversation. Are you talking about me? Much like that. And in such situations, where people have the option to walk away from you, I'm imagining they generally do. I'll stay. Yeah. I've got the rabbit. I think also, deep down, you realise most people find you ridiculous. And your behaviour is some sort of defence mechanism. And when you are, in fact, offered criticism, instead of taking it on board, you shoot the messenger. Piss off. Uh, don't shoot the messenger, you, or I'll pull your head off. I will pull its head off. Yeah. Right, don't believe me. <sighs> Sorry about that, Alistair. I don't know what... Uh, it's from John Lewis, so you can take it back. Seven days. Yeah, no, so I sort of swing by and you know, give it the once over. Keep the local suburbanites happy. Cheers, mate. We always get this just because we're different. Yeah, well, tell me about it, amigo. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Sorry. Oh, so I think you spilt something there. We don't fit in with the curtain switches. Yeah, no, well, you haven't got any curtains, have you, sir? Yeah, just gonna just tick a few boxes. Yeah, yada yada. Hiya. Uh... Ah. Hello. I'm Tommy. That's Raymond. Um, so uh, you are Keanu Reeves. Uh, fair enough. Um, chap who I was just talking to. Is it, what's his name? Don't know. Yeah. Well, people get hung up on names, don't they? Yeah. Just... Uh, have you got a mobile phone number? It begins with... Uh-oh. Right, have you got it on you? Mickey from Belfast holding it till I get him his £100. Right, OK, uh, no worries, I'll get it later. Oh, no, no, I, give it me back. Great, uh, you, you got it handy? Yeah. Oh, no, it's in the sink, underwater. Thank you, give you his number. He went to the corner shop for some Maltesers. Right. When did when did he go? February. <laughs> so uh, what do you lot do then? We all do different things, mate. We're not like the sheep that live round here. No, oh, I, I hear you, dude. Yeah. So, so what do you do? Spanky does crystal meth. Cat weasel does ketamine. Morbius don't do anything. 
Just booze and coke. Traditionalist. If only more people lived like this, the world would be a... How much nice, but did something die in here? I <laughs> know, Dafty. Spanky dropped some chicken curry down the back of the cooker. What, what is that? It's some cheese in a cup. Yeah, it's some cheese in a cup. Of course it is. Oh, Lord and Lady Pinkerton. Uh, uh, very much enjoyed your... Uh... Tommy, you've got a, a cushion stuck to your trousers. Jesus. It's OK. Is he your dad? No. He looks like the Bee Gees. <laughs> Listen, mate, no-one's expecting you to go shopping for pelmets, but... I mean, you've got a, look, you've got a VCR then sitting on a swing bin. It's, that's a hazard. Yeah, you know, what's it there for? I think it's to keep that snake in. Chip, uh, put it back. Ah, you weren't expecting that, were you? No, no. Guys, <laughs> a little tidy up. I mean, it's not selling out. Blah de blah, blah de blah. Just don't stroke him. I'll level with you. When I came here today, I wanted to say, you are holding the torch for a disaffected generation. No, you are that thing you said. And your genes are rubbish. Why do you all sit in columns and rows? Because you've been told to, sir. Because you've been told to? Yeah. Do you always do what you're told? Let's sit on the floor for a change. Cool. Let's, let's, sit, let's sit on the floor. Um, do we have to, sir? Just do as you're told. I mean, you know, let's, let's experiment. Yeah, get on the floor. The Navajo Indians sit on the floor when they teach and uh, they, they, they treat kid. Oh, Jesus, I've got a trap nerve. So it's not going to work. Uh, uh, sit back on your chairs. Uh, that, 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 that was good to do, uh, to illustrate something. You know, that if you think that me throwing out the rule book bothers you, I don't give a shit. That's right, I swore. Are you shocked? Get used to it. OK, let's throw everything up in the air, see where it lands. Don't get... Pest control. Name me some pests. Rats. Rats. Mice. Mice, yeah. yeah. How about Gandhi? Yeah, shocked you again. Gandhi was a pest. He was a pest to the establishment. We did Gandhi last term. Did you? What, 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 did they, what did they tell you about Gandhi? You get independence for India through non-violent protest, sir. That's an answer. Let's throw, let's throw everything up in the air and see where it lands. <laughs> We've just done that. Yeah. Well, we're doing it again. I'm going to keep doing it so you get it right. Uh, so just... Write down um, whatever you think you've learned today from uh, me. Mr Saxondale? Yeah? How can you claim to be anti-establishment, yet also be sceptical about the environmental movements, given that they are, by their very nature, anti-establishment? Boring. <laughs> Sorry, just... Listen, mate, I'd love to talk to you about it, but I've got to fill in these VAT returns. Please, sir. Shh! <laughs> right. Walk, don't run. Hey, did you tour with Pink Floyd? Oh, I was wondering when someone was going to ask me about that. Really, sir? Yeah. What was it like? Uh, a couple of Floyd fans. Yeah. Muy interesante. Yeah, well, I can tell you about it, warts and all, because there were warts. Um, yeah, first met the guys back in 74. Um, quite matey with Nick Mason. Sid Barrett, you know, long, long, sort of fading memory. Honestly. So the tour manager said, Tommy, strictly speaking, you're not supposed to do that. I said, Mitchell, strictly speaking, Gandhi was supposed to shut it and open a corner shop. Yeah? <laughs> but um, I was like, yeah, let's not talk about Gandhi again. Sorry, we need to go. All right, Sonso.
See you later, sir. Okay, okay. see you. Pleasure. Yeah, all right, yes, sir. Right there. Hey, less of the sir, okay? <laughs> Go on, get out of here. See you soon, Shine sir. Shine on your crazy diamonds. Carp DM and all that, but, uh, you know, have a laugh. Pull the odd stunt as you get your knuckles wrapped, who gives? Methinks I'm corrupting the young minds. Mm. So is that done for the day, then? Yeah. Should we go? No. Why not? Because they've glued my ass to the chair. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, hold up, I think this is him now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and I can confirm he is wearing his trousers. Yeah. <laughs> no, he shouldn't really, should he? You're right, darling. I'll tell you later. Yeah, OK, bye. Tommy, babes. Honestly, when I said you should get back to school, I said in your little grey shorts, not in your big nylon wife run. I, I don't wear nylon wife. The, the flannel cotton trunks, for crying out loud. Yeah, well, whatever. I just don't know why you had to walk down that corridor in your big smelly knickers. Tee hee. Those children, they're going to need a lot of counselling, babes. And darling, how on earth did you manage to get your ass glued to a chair? <laughs> yeah, Vicky, I could explain it to you, but unless I used words of less than two syllables, I'd be as well explaining it to a biscuit beetle. Well, whatever, just don't sit on that chair, right? Yeah, I get it, glue on seat, very funny. Check, must try harder. Thank you! <laughs> don't lose your temper. Fuck off! Sorry! And now, stitch that. Shuey McGlone's Memoirs of a Gorbel's Childhood, read by Rafe Fiennes. Mags? Do you want half a king size Mars bar? No, I've just had a cheese and pickle bap. Hey, wanna roll these on the table? Uh, I just I asked the kids to write down what they'd learnt in the lesson. Throw them away. Rubbish. Tommy, have you seen these? No. I learned that you should think for yourself and not just believe what you were told. Today, I learned to look at things in a different way. These, these are amazing. One of them's even done a picture, look. Oh, amazing. your hair and the amazing. Pink Floyd T-shirt. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. What do the others say? Uh, oh. <laughs> First, I thought he was an idiot, but after a while, I realised he's actually a dick as well. Um, that guy was a dick. Hang on. Well, what a dick. Oh, well, it's always a couple. Uh, dick, dick, bit of a dick, total dick, uh, prick. I'll just put them in the bin. They all like that. Yeah, more or less, except for the first two. I was a success. Yeah, sort of. Mugs, don't you see? I tried to teach those kids to, to kick against the pricks. I'm just the first prick, if you like, of many that they will kick against. Those first two guys, they were just arse lickers. It's the others, the prick kickers. It's just one of them goes on to form some sort of guitar-based band that invents a whole new sound, even if it's mildly derivative of certain progressive rock bands of the mid-70s, then Mag's, my work here is done. You look like a unicorn. You're not wrong, kiddo. A mythical creature, but with a penis instead of a horn. That's how I was depicted by the free thinkers of tomorrow. And I salute them. Mr. Saxondale. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, a white horse walked into a bar, and the barman said, Hey, We've got a whiskey named after you. And the horse said, What, Bill? <laughs> I'm not deaf. But you laughed at that shit joke. 
because you thought I was. Shame on you. And um, shame on me for doing that deaf voice. So let's not be swayed by impediments, aural or stick-based. <coughs> Are you uh, familiar with the term musical theatre? I'd say so, yes. Uh, you'll doubtless be familiar with the spectacle of Greece, one of the more venerated examples of the genre. Yes, I know Greece very well as it happens, yes. You know Greece very well as it happens, yes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there is, is there not a scene in which the melodically inclined garage mechanics take part in the renovation of a motor vehicle, pimping, if you will, the car into something the members of the jury may be more familiar with as greased lightning? Yes, that's right, that's what happens. And the said mechanics leap from the bonnet of the car and whip out their combs to correct the inevitable dishevelment that occurs from such an athletic manoeuvre. Yes, that's right. And that you, in August of last year, as a member of the Abbots Langley Amateur Dramatic Society, in the theatrical guise of one of the uh, aforementioned fellas, did perform this very manoeuvre with, I have it on very good authority, no small measure of aplomb. That's right, I did. I, I played duty. You played duty. A man with a walking stick, propelling himself from the bonnet of a 1946 fat-fendered Ford Coupe? Well, I'm not disabled. Ah! You're not disabled. Then I'm sure the ladies and gentlemen of the jury would love to know why you feel the need to use a walking stick. Well... Not it's... trying to play the sympathy card, are you? Hmm? Tiny Tim? No. I put it to you that you are not Tiny Tim, but that I am Bob Cratchit and you are the... Ghost, the ghost, whose name escapes me. Um, what's it, the, the, from Christmas Carol? The, the, the one with the... Uh, ghost of Christmas present. No, the one with the chains. Casper. Comes, not Casper. Sorry. C can you strike that stuff from the record, please, Your Honour? Can you explain to the court why you use a walking stick? Yeah. I dislocated my knee last week playing in a charity football match. You dislocated your knee last week playing in a charity for football match. Mr. Saxondale, can you tell me where this line of inquiry is leading? He just sought, uh, really sought to illustrate, Your Honour, that he played in a charity football ball match and hurt his knee. To what end? To what end, precisely? Because, 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 not because of the wonderful things he does. Ha, 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 but because... He, well, uh, because, ah, yes, that's it, because whatever grave injustice he carried out at the train station, do not demonise this man. He's not a monster. I merely ask you to consider that he may be a bit of a dick. Uh, I call to the stand Mr Keanu Reeves. Why is everything so woody? Mr. Reeves, I would remind you that you are in a court of law and are obliged to observe the proceedings accordingly. Uh, FYHI, uh, for your honour's information, my witness changed his name by deed poll to that of the film actor familiar to many here as the cassock wearing flying man from the Matrix. Very good. Yeah, I know. Mr. Reeves. When uh, giving your account of events at Stevenage Railway Station, may I respectfully request that you avoid the vernacular? Why is everyone talking like it's the olden days? Mr Reeves, I would reiterate that you respect the procedure in the courtroom. Grumpy. Can you confirm for the court that on the day in question you were at Stevenage Railway Station? Yeah. Minding your own business? Yeah. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't having sex with blokes for money. Just a simple yes or no will suffice. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this man you see before you today, this unfortunate addict, has to work as a rent boy, simply to make ends meet. He has to, in uh, a cruel irony, uh, make ends meet. <laughs> to make ends meet. Yeah. Mm. How would you characterise the ticket inspector? He's really mean. Can you please tell the court what the ticket inspector called you on one occasion? He called me a dirty bum boy. The most vulnerable in society, ladies and gentlemen. What sort of person would call this 
Dirty bum boy, an unfortunate addict. I've got that the wrong way around. No need to retype, just swap unfortunate addict for dirty bum boy. <clears throat> hey, you. Hey, you. Wiggy. Mr. Reeves! You must address the judge as your honour and only when you yourself are addressed. Sorry about this. Mr. Reeves, did you have a question you wanted to ask me? No. Hey. Hey, Bambi. What are you doing here? Oh, <clears throat> Can you tell the court what your relationship is to me? Uh, I'm a very good friend of your partner, Margaret Neath. And by extension? I work a uh, friend to you both, yes. And how would you describe me to the court? What kind of person would you say I am? Well, fundamentally honest. Fundamentally honest. Honest, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. He's not always the easiest person to be around at times. <laughs> Which among us isn't a little difficult at times? Perhaps a little prone to belligerence. Prone to belligerence. I asked the court to observe the affectionate nature with which that was delivered. It's very opinionated, certainly. <laughs> Once again, for the record, delivered with a jaunty chuckle. Nothing to be read into that whatsoever. No more. Maybe uh, a slight tendency to temperament wise hair trigger, shall we say? Shall we not? Uh, but fundamentally honest. Oh, yes. A tendency towards belligerence yeah, at You time. keep saying that. Which side are you on? Um, that's how we mess around with each other. You can see how it works. Yes, he's all right, really. <laughs> a bit late now. No more questions, you. Hello, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Back in, you maniac. Yeah, I just give, give us a sec, give us a sec. Hi. Hi, how are you? Uh, great, yeah, what, what, what are you after? I'm a bit, bit busy. Oh, I just wanted to... Uh... Hey, you, I'm, I'm going to have one night in. Yeah, I, I was, yeah what, what was it? I just wanted to get a couple of things. Yeah, yeah, go, go right ahead. Yeah, no, that's great, yeah. No, well, my diary's a bit chock-a-block at the moment, a bit pushed, but I've got the whole Hawaii trip, yeah, to Hawaii. So if you want to put your name down for that, you better be... Yeah, so, sorry about that, Brian. I've got one of those new phones that um, rings even when you're on the phone to someone else. That's, uh, yeah, 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 technology. Yeah, well, I, I'll pass on my best wishes to Bill and Ben and Bob, yeah, the, but not the builder, the, the, pl the plumber. Yeah. Yeah, saw you uh, going into Woolworths the other day with the that yoga guy. Oh yeah, getting some stationery with Toby. I'll tell you when I saw him, I just laughed. I, la I, la I laughed, laughed till I, I I pissed myself laughing. Ask Raymond. Yeah, if I'd known his name was Toby, I would have laughed so much I would have shat myself. Yeah. Why? Because he's a spiritual person. No, because he, cause he thinks he's Gandhi. You know, he looks like Gandhi. In fact, if Gandhi was here, he'd, uh, he'd just say, uh, you, you're a dick, you, you're just copying me. Yeah. So you're going on holiday to Hawaii, then? None of your business. <laughs> Fair enough. So what if I am? I think it's a really good idea. Yeah, yeah, deal with it. Me and a bunch of nutters on the beach. And, and uh, some of our gang will be packing cheeky little bikinis. Get the picture. The transvestite? No, 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 the women, the women. The, 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 that's the point. There's going to be women. Sorry. Hi, Max. Oh, hello, Raymond. There he is. Uh, Denizen of the bachelor pad. Yeah, uh, the pit of sin. House of the hellhounds. Oh, you do it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Tommy, we've run out of toilet paper, well, so I'll put whatever. the kitchen roll in there for the time being. Animal. Um, but we're going to have to go shopping. Right, well, um, i better get off. No, we're not doing any shopping. We're, we're, we're living it up in the Hotel California. And House of the Rising Sun. What about the toilet paper? Some wet wipes under the sink. Uh, I uh, ordered a book, uh, Shamanic Spirit, by Kenneth Meadows. Oh, yeah, that, that one's just come in. Uh, here we are. Are you Tommy? That's right, yeah. Yeah. I'm Toby. Yeah, what, the yoga guy? Mike's told me about you. Oh, yeah. 
We have people who come here interested in Native American wisdom, but most just come for the yoga and the organic food. Yeah, well, the spiritual day trippers, aren't they? They haven't got the gonads. No, I'm out there every day tracking the stink of self improvement. Yeah. Living in my teepee. Wow. You live in a teepee? I don't live in a teepee, no. I live in a Thornfield detached new home. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mental, mental teepee. Yeah. No, we don't get much call for the Native American stuff. Well, that's because most people think it's all. Oh, la, 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 la. And, uh, you know, dancing with wolves. But, um,. There's a lot more to it than that. This is supposed to have a CD of shamanic drumming. It's not here. Oh, yes, it is. I made a mistake. Have you ever read Alberto Vialdo? Yeah. yeah. Dance of the Four Winds. Excellent book. Very chi, challenging. Amazing. It's so uplifting. Yeah. Did you like his other book, Shaman Healer Sage? No, I thought that one was shit. Is Mags here? She should be around. You know, Mags is really enjoying her yoga. She's got such a deep spiritual potential. Yeah. You like big girls too, do you? Tommy! Hello. Good to see you. Yeah, and then you, yeah. What, what, what are you doing? I'm just another class. Yeah. What are you wearing? Hey? Oh, what this? Ah, it's just a, uh, just a Native American buffalo hide with fringing. Yeah, based on the one worn by Crazy Horse. Huh. The trousers are based on the ones worn by Avenging Hawk. And the boots? Uh, Russell and Bromley, yeah, reduced. Well, you know, nice. Yeah. It suits you. I know, Max, Max, I've changed so much, honestly. I've really, I've completely, I've, I've just, you've seen a jacket from the outside, you know, in a dream catcher, you know, which is a bit of a nightmare. But I've changed on the inside as well. What's brought this on then? Well, I've been buying these books on Native American wisdom. This is the fourth one. Right. And I've also been thinking very seriously about going to Africa to dig wells for starving children. Well, you know, thirsty children. Which bit of Africa? Any, you know, it's all good. They're always wanting wells, that lot. Mm. Yeah. Tommy, this all sounds quite interesting in a way, I suppose, but I'm worried about you. Don't need to be worried. Don't need to worry. I, 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 you know, I'm just I'm not cynical anymore. Just, uh, just not, just stops. Yeah. Weird. Just, uh, just, I was walking down the precinct today and I saw a mime artist. You hate mime artists. Yeah, the old me, yes, but today I saw a mime artist for the first time. Mags, I put. Ten pence in his imaginary cap. Tell me. I was, I was like, I was like, I was like, can somebody help this guy? Because as far as I'm concerned, he is trapped inside a glass box. Because I allowed myself to believe. No, I gotta go. Yeah, can I just read you a quick passage from Shamanic No, I'm late for my next session. Please, I'll take a second. No, Toby's Please. waiting for you. You liar. You're not interested in Native American wisdom. I never said I was. Yes, you did. 30 seconds ago, you said it sounded quite interesting in a way you supposed. Toby's waiting for me. Oh, don't give me that. I feel sorry for you. You're cruel and you're heartless and you're, and you're, you're twisted and you're evil. And I want you back. I've got to go. I dressed up like poker fucking hunters for you. 